Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Before seeing fundamental principle of counting, let me quickly introduce you guys to new chapter that is permutations and combinations. The topics that comes under this chapter are fundamental principle of counting, permutations and combinations. We will see these topics one by one in my upcoming videos. So in this video, we will see the first topic that is fundamental principle of counting. So now let's see what is fundamental principle of counting. In fundamental principle of counting, we have two types. One is fundamental principle of multiplication and one more we have fundamental principle of addition. So first let's see what is fundamental principle of multiplication. Let me explain by taking an example. Let's say Mohan has three pants and two shirts. Let me take those pants as P1, P2, P3 and shirts as S1 and S2. So now can you tell me how many different pairs of pants and shirts can he dress up with? So with pant P1, he can put S shirt S1 or S2. Similarly with pant 2 P2, he can put S1 or S2. With pant P3, he can put S1 or S2. So total how many pairs are possible? So we have P1 into S1 1 pair, P1 into S2 P2 pairs, P2 S1 3 pair, P2 S2 4 pair, P3 S1 5 pair, P3 S2 6 pairs. Correct? So we can say for every choice of pants he has two choices for shirts. Correct? So that means 3 into 2 which is nothing but 6 pairs. So 6 pairs are possible. So in general if I take this as event A. Event A means it is the event of choosing a pant. And this is event B. Here choosing a shirt. So in general we can say total number of occurrence of the event. Total number of occurrence of events is equal to in this case 3 into 2. So in general I can write as m into n where m is nothing but an event can occur in m different ways following which another event can occur in n different ways. So in this case we have 3 into 2. So this is fundamental principle of multiplication. So let me give one more example. So let me erase this part. So let's see second example. Let's say Shabnam has two school bags, three tiffin boxes and two water bottles. In how many ways can she carry these items? Choosing one each. So let's take the school bags as S1 and X2. Tiffin boxes we have 3. So T1, T2 and T3. Similarly water bottles we have 2 water bottles. So W1 and W2. So in how many ways she can carry these items? Choosing one each. So one possibility is S1, T1, W1. She can take S1, T1, W2. She can also take S2, T1, W1. S2, T2, W2. So there are various possibilities. Right? So how to find the total number of occurrence of the events? If I take this event as A1, sorry A and this as B and this as C, then the total number of occurrence of the events is given by M cross N. Here two events were there but here we have three events. So the total number of occurrence will be given as M cross N cross P. If I take event C is occurring in P different ways then the total number of occurrence of the event is given by M cross N cross P. So, M is 2 into N is 1, 2, 3 
into P is 2. So, 3 to the 6, 6 to the 12. So, there are 12 possible ways she can carry these items. Correct? Taking one each. So, this is what is fundamental principle of multiplication. Now, let us move on to the second type. That is fundamental principle of addition. But before that, pause the video and note this down. Now, let me give you example for second type. Let us say you have three black ties and two white ties. So, how many we have? Black 3, B1, B2 and B3 and white we have W1 and W2. So, two white ties. So, here can you tell me how many ways you can wear these ties? So, you will not wear tie one upon another, right? Either you will wear B1 or B2 or B3 or you can wear W1 or W2. So, how many total possibilities are possible? So, 5, correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here total number of ways you can wear this tie. is equal to m plus n. If I take this as event A, this is event B. So, choosing black tie is event A. We have three different types. Choosing white tie is event B. So, the total number of ways you can wear tie is m plus n. So, here in this case we have three plus 2. So, that is 5 possibilities. So, this is what is fundamental principle of addition. So, when you will add, when both events are not possible together, correct? So, at that time you are going for fundamental principle of addition. I hope this is clear. So, now let us solve some word problems, but before that pause the video and note this down. So, now let us see this problem. Here it says, Find the number of four letter words with or without meaning which can be formed out of the letters of the word rose, R O S E, where the repetition of the letters is not allowed. So, here they are saying we have to find how many four letter words is possible or you can form out of the word rose without repeating these letters. That means they are saying we have a word rose. This rose you can write as O S E R. This is one way of writing this. We are not repeating any any of the letters, right? Otherwise, S E R O. This is one more way. Like this, how many ways you can write this rose without repeating the letters? That they are asking, right? I hope question is clear. So, in rows we have four letters, right? So, we have to form four letters. So, here how many letters you can put in this position? Either you can put R or O or S or E, right? Only four possibilities. So, you will write four. Four letters you can put in this position. So, now one letter is already fixed. Now, in this position, how many letters are you can put? We have three letters, correct? If you put R, then we have O, S, E. So, three possibilities. If you put O here, then we have three possibilities, S, E, R. So, that means this position has got three possible ways. Three possible letters can fit here. Similarly, if you move to this position, there will be only two possibilities, right? Two letters you can write. And in this place, one letter. So, therefore, total number of ways you can write is, write this rows is, Four into three into two into 
one. So four three is a twelve. Twelve two is a twenty four. So twenty four ways. Or you can say twenty four words are possible, right? I hope this is clear. Let's see next problem. So now let's see the second problem. Here it says, given four flags of different colors, how many different signals can be generated if a signal requires the use of two flags, one below the other? So they are saying they have four flags of different colors. So let's take those flags. Let's take those flags as red, white, black, and yellow. So we have four flags. So there we have to make a signal. By using two flags, two colored flags, such that they are one below the other, like this. So now, can you tell me in how many different ways you can fill this first position? Either you can put R, red flag, or white flag, or black flag, or yellow flag. Correct. So we have four possibilities. So in the second position, how many possibilities? One is fixed. So the remaining we have three. Correct. So by doing so, how many total signal is possible? Four into three. Four threes are twelve. I hope you are understanding the logic. Now let's move on to the third problem. So now let's see this problem here. It says, how many two-digit even numbers can be formed from the digits one, two, three, four, and five if the digits can be repeated? So they are asking, how many two-digit even number can be formed? So we have to form a two-digit even number. So to be even number, we know in the unit place the digit has to be a multiple of two, correct? So how many two multiples of two are there here? Two and four. So you can fill either two or four. So there are two ways, correct? And what can be in the tens place? It can be one or two or three or four or five. So how many ways are there? One, two, three, four, five. So five cross two, correct? So five twos are ten ways. Ten ways or ten two-digit even numbers can be formed. So therefore, we can write total number of two-digit even numbers is five into two. That is ten. If they were to say if the digits cannot be repeated, then what would be the answer? So you cannot put two and four in this place, correct? So that would be one, two, three, three ways. So three into two, three twos are six ways. I hope this is clear. Now let's see one last problem. But before that, pause the video and note this down. So now let's see this last problem. Here it says, find the number of different signals that can be generated by arranging at least two flags in order, one below the other, on a vertical staff. If five different flags are available. So they are saying we have to generate a signal by arranging at least two flags in order one below the other. So the signal can be generated at least two flags. So there are five flags, correct? Five different flags are available. So it can signal can be of two colored flags or it can be three colored flags. Or it can be four color, right? Four flags. Or it can be five. Because they are told at least minimum is two. So out of five flags, how many ways like you can fill this position? So you can put any of them, right? Five ways are there. So in this position, one is fixed, so we have four. So the number of ways will be five into four. So five fours are twenty ways, right? Twenty ways you can make this signal with two flags. 
Similarly, if I see with three flags, so this position they have five chances, right? So here one is fixed, so we have left with four. Now these two are fixed like we have how many left? Three. So the number of ways will be 5 into 4 into 3. 5 fours are 20. 20 into 3 is 60. So 60 ways. Similarly with the 4 flags. So first will be 5. And next we have 4. Here we have 3. And here 2. So 5 into 4 into 3 into 2. So 5 fours are 20. 20 into 3 is 60. 60 into 2 is 120. So 120 ways. Similarly, if you see with 5 flag signals, so here we have 5 ways and here 4, 3, 2 and 1, correct? So this will be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So 5 fours are 20, 20 into 3 is 60, 60 twos are 120. So here they have asked find the number of different signals that can be generated by arranging at least two flags. That means it will include all these, correct? So therefore, total required number of signals. Is equal to 20 plus 60 plus 120 plus 120. So that will give you 320. So I hope this is clear. So this is it in this video. See you soon. Till then take care. Almighty bless.